Hello and welcome to this presentation on how to save class membership probabilities when running a latent class analysis in M+. You can see I'm doing a three class model right here. The items that I'm using reflect computer game preference for different games. I'm extracting three latent classes here in M+. And the way to get the class membership statistics in M plus is by using the save data option where you can specify a file name so that M plus will create a new data file that contains your items that you analyzed in the latent class analysis and also contains class membership probabilities for each individual and each class as well as the most likely latent class membership as a separate variable. The way this works is by including the subcommand that says save equals C probabilities. So then M plus knows I'm supposed to add those class membership statistics to this file in addition to the items. If you have other variables that you would like to add to this data set that are in your variable names list, but that are not part of the latent class analysis, then you can do that by using the auxiliary command here in the variable command, where you can see I listed age and gender here as well, even though those variables were not used in the latent class model as such. But now what M plus will do is it'll add not only the items to the data set, but it'll also add those to um, auxiliary variables. Then we can run. In the output file, at the very end in M plus you get information on what was saved in which order and with which variable format. And you can see here the file name is computer games three classes dot that. That's the new data file that M plus saved to the same directory where you have your input file. And then also here you can see the order and the format of the variables. First are the five items that were used in this latent class analysis. Then M plus added the two variables age and gender, the auxiliary variables, and then the new variables that were created based on the results of the three class latent class model. You can see there are three variables that reflect class probabilities or class assignment probabilities because there were three classes in this model. And then also there is the latent class variable L which gives the manifest class membership in that case after looking at what the highest probability is for a given person. So let's take a look at that data set that was saved by M plus. See if we can find it. It's a text file. You can open it with text edit on Mac or with Notepad uh, when you work with Windows. And here you can see this data file only has the columns, so we have to look at the output to, to understand what variables we get here. The first five columns are the items, then we have the age variable, then the gender variable, and then, uh, then <clears throat> we get the three class probability variables. Here you can see that, for example, the first person had a probability of 0.7 of belonging to uh, class 1, 0.045 of belonging to class 2, and 0.254 of belonging to class 3. And therefore, this individual was assigned to class 1 because that was the highest probability. For the second individual, we also get the membership as class 1 membership because this individual also had the highest probability for the first class, but it was much higher. So that individual was much more clearly classified or more reliably classified than the first individual with a probability of almost 0.98. And so you can look at that now for every person, for every response pattern, and at the end you get the class membership statistic or the, the manifest class membership based on the mo most likely class assignment. The class assignment probabilities within each person add up to one because each person must belong to one of the three classes and then M plus looked at what was the highest probability among the three and then that class was the one that the person was assigned to. 
tov. So now you can use these for individual purposes when you want to know which class does a given individual belong to and how certain is that 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 person belongs to that class. I hope you enjoyed this video and check out more videos um, that are in the description. If you have other things that you would like to see discussed with M+, please leave a comment and I'll see you next time.